Hi, it's Guy from DecadentDecaf.com, the UK's leading decaffeinated coffee brand. Today, we're going to ask the question, what is the Swiss water decaf process? The Swiss water decaf process was finally discovered in 1933 in Switzerland, but it was only in 1980 that the Swiss water decaf process was finally commercialized. But even so, the procedure was very inefficient and the result was often inconsistent batches and a coffee that was difficult to roast. However, in the mid 2000s, the Swiss water process was perfected and resulted in high quality tasting decaffeinated coffee that is 99.9% caffeine free. But how is Swiss water decaf coffee manufactured? The most important principles in the production of Swiss water decaf is water, temperature and time. It takes about 10 hours for the process to be complete, but consists of a number of steps along the way to manufacture it. The first principle to understand is green coffee extract, or GCE for short. GCE is pure water plus all the water soluble solids that can be found in green coffee, except for caffeine. But how do you make GCE? GCE is a natural solution, no chemicals involved, that contain all the naturally occurring water soluble solids found in green coffee, including chlorogenic acids, amino acids, and carbohydrates. The GCE is made in three steps as follows. Step one, first, green coffee is soaked in fresh hot water, which allows the soluble solids to leach out of the coffee. Step two, once the solids are all dissolved into the water, the coffee is then removed. Step three, the GCE is then filtered through a special carbon filter, which removes only the caffeine and nothing else. All the green coffee solids remain in the GCE. The other key component when making Swiss water decaf is carbon. Carbon has a nucleus of neutrons and six protons surrounded by six electrons and is unique among the elements in its ability to form strongly bonded chains sealed off by hydrogen atoms. The carbon filters that are used for Swiss water decaf have very specific pore sizes, and the pore size is the same size as the caffeine molecule, so that the pore traps only the caffeine and nothing else. Now we understand the key proponents, let's discuss the Swiss water decaf process step by step. Step one, the raw green coffee is cleaned and pre-soaked to expand the bean. Step two, the caffeine-free GCE is introduced to the green coffee. Step three, when this happens, the caffeine is transferred from the bean to the GCE in a process that is called diffusion. Step four, after roughly 10 hours, when the coffee is 99.9% .9 caffeine-free, the green beans are sent to the dryer. Step five, after the decaffeinated coffee beans have been removed, the GCE is now saturated in caffeine from the coffee and is therefore sent to carbon filtration, which traps the carbon molecules. Step six, to clean the carbon filters of caffeine to start the process again, the carbon is incinerated and then reused again. Step seven, when the GCE is caffeine free, it is regenerated and reintroduced to more green coffee. Step eight, finally, the coffee is sent to the dryer once dry, they are bagged and ready to be shipped out to green coffee traders and roasters across the globe. Here at decadentdecaf.com, we recommend the Swiss water process of decaffeination, which uses water, no chemicals to decaffeinate the coffee beans, and is 99.9% .9 caffeine free. To find out more, please visit www.decadentdecaf.com or check out our YouTube channel for, for more videos on decaf, caffeine and coffee topics.